Okay, so this is a problem a student had of mine. He's trying to define a 3D sketch, which uh, defines this manifold in here. And uh, he's having difficulty getting this fully defined. A 3D sketch is over here. What we have in here is a 3D sketch match master that uh, actually defines uh, the other 3D sketches, which define the different uh, um, manifolds that we have in here, or different pipes that go into uh, one central uh, area in here. So. Let's go into the 3D sketch and take a look at that and see what we can do. So there's a series of lines and arcs, and then we have fillets, uh, which are also arcs. But we can add those fillets later. So I think the first thing we need to do is to, uh, well, we need to get rid of these fillets. Let's go ahead and do that. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that on both ends we have well-defined uh, sketch geometry. And then we're going to go ahead and fill in the blank. So we're going to start in this end. This is fully defined over here, and we're going to put in this line down here, and then this line down here, roughly in the same location as it is right now, and ultimately we're going to put in this big broad arc. But uh, first thing we're going to do is delete our fillets, so let's go ahead and do that. You want to put these fillets in last, if you can do that. Uh, you know, it's a lot easier to define that with, uh, without the fillets in there. So the approach here is good, 120 degrees, that's pretty good. But you can still see that with that line in there, Let's go ahead and delete this line here too, by the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of build this from the left over here and make uh, build it over to the right. And we might have to add some additional geometry in here when we do this. But very easily, we can just put that line back by connecting these two endpoints, which we're going to do here in just a moment. But with this guy, 120 degrees on that, you know, that's okay. But we can move that around. You know we have still have rotation, and that still maintains its 120 degrees. So what do we do about that? Well, let me tell you. Let me show you. What we're going to do is we're going to put a center line in and we're going to make that off of uh, existing geometry and then we're going to follow one of these axes in here, probably the Y. So we're going to make that go down. You can see the kind of the orientation uh, icon that we have in there. It kind of looks like the origin in a way. But we're going to follow one of these axes. We can go out this way and follow the X. Go down this way and follow the Y. And if you look next to the cursor, we have that uh, a line with the y-axis. It's not really on the y-axis, but it's parallel to it. So we're going to go down here like that. And you'll notice that this is uh, not fully defined here on the endpoint, but the line itself is black. So that's fully defined. So now we have another reference that we can put a angular dimension on. So we're going to make that, we're going to round that to be like maybe 40 degrees. So now we could uh, connect this line over here to the endpoint of that arc. What we're going to do is get it kind of close, so we're going to drop it out there and kind of rotate that around, and just to see if it's close. You don't want to make that connection yet. So that's probably okay. So we're going to do the same thing here. A couple different uh, dimensions between this line and that line. Angular dimension, round that up, maybe 135. And then between this line and uh, another line we haven't sketched in yet, so let's go ahead and do that. And to be consistent, uh, we're going to go ahead and sketch a line again down along the y-axis, but we could just go off on the x-axis too. As long as we follow one of these axes, this one is a sketch relation along the x. Now we're going to put a dimension there between this one and that one. And again, it might be uh, better if we're consistent with this and just did them all along the y, so their dimensions are a little bit easier to read because these are all kind of going off in different directions. But we're going to make that uh, 153. And now it's, you know, it's kind of way off over here, but we're going to bring that back, tame that animal. And now we're going to take uh, this point, put it on the end point of that line, kind of close to what it was before. And we're going to get this almost fully defined, if not over defined. So if we take a look at this uh, tangent relationship up here, it's going to be tangent up there. Coincident down here, what we like to do is make this and this tangent. And when we do that, oh, what a disappointment. So we can't make that tangent, but if you actually look at it, you can see that it's not going to be tangent. And we have that line fully defined by these two dimensions. But if you take out one of these dimensions, like this one, now it's going to solve itself. Still have the other angular dimension in there. Just make sure we only put in that one dimension there just temporarily until we got that fully defined. And now we don't need that uh, dimension anymore, that angular dimension. So now it's fully defined. So one more thing in here. Now we have this thing over here. Uh, we, we don't want this bend in here, and you said you're having difficulty with that, getting that defined. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Let's go ahead and take out this, uh, uh, that fillet in there and kind of get that defined. So we know that this is uh, fully defined in here. So let's do this. So do what we did before. Stick that center line. Sketch this down along the y-axis again. 
Let's put an angle between that so we can get this fully defined. We didn't move that line of our, around too much, but we're going to make that 53 degrees. And now that's not fully defined, so what do we need to do? We need to do uh, another dimension. Probably should have done this first. We're going to go between that line and this line and round it up 143. So that should be fully defined. So now we have a tangent relationship here. Don't have a tangent relationship here, but if we try to put that in, let's see what happens. Make that tangent. Doesn't like it, but I think if we took out one of these angular dimensions in here, bang, now it does like it. So that's that one angular dimension in here. We might be able to take that dimension and take that thing out. Yeah, look. You want to select the dimension, not to value the dimension. We might be able to do something very similar by putting in a distance in here, like maybe two inches. So if this is more important than the angles, go ahead and put the distance in. But that's how you do that. You just need to have that one little bit of extra fully defined sketch geometry in here in a 3D sketch in order to put these angles in here. Or if you want to, then you can put in those, uh, you know, the distance uh, relationships in there too if you want to do that too. Last thing you want to do is put in a fillet. We're going to make all these two inches. So when everything's fully defined, then you're safe to put in fillets. So we're going to put a fillet in here. Don't need one there. So I think just three fillets will do it. And one last thing in here. I know it's this little line like, what? what is this? So let's go ahead and delete that. I think what you have in here is a stack line. You have to be careful with stack lines. Now this is kind of a master, so we're going to be doing a 3D sketch uh, uh, convert entities uh, for each one of these individual uh, uh, swept features, sweep features that you have. But uh, you want to make sure you don't have stack lines in SolidWorks. Uh, it doesn't always work out and kind of hides errors. It may not be apparent right away. And sometimes when you have stack lines, you get really thin lines in here like this. But we have a lot of geometry going on here, which is probably the reason why that is uh, thin. And uh, it'll show you that thin line when you have other geometry in here that um, you know might be competing with the geometry you actually sketch geometry we have in there. So the thing to take away from that, add that extra geometry in here, put that extra angle uh, dimension in there, and then uh, add dimensions in here too in regard to length. And I think it'll work out. Fillets going last.